Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Odd Sparks, an automation adventure, which is, you know, best described almost as kind of like Pikmin crossed with Factorio, uh, with like a very wood punk, wood punk flair. It looks really nice. Oh, we have a character editor. Uh, it doesn't let me do too much, apparently. I can just change my skin color. I can be green. Yes. Wait. Y yes. Look, I don't know if you've noticed, but whenever I'm given a game and I'm allowed to just like have kind of like a greenish hair uh, or greenish skin and kind of like magenta and or pink um, hair, I do it. I, I have magenta hair in at least for part of college and then it turned kind of like a weird pink. That was fine. Oh, hair type. Wait, hair type teeth? Nah. I do like the teeth on the hood though. That's nice, but no, I'm gonna stick with this. All right, and then we can change. Oh, poncho type tail, tail, tail. Oh, that's kind of cute actually. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, poncho pattern, leaves, stripes. Oh, dots. Spider web's actually kind of nice. I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should be spider. Let's. Uh, I'm sorry. I I meant to actually play this game, but then I saw that they had character customization. I said, Yeah, I'll bite. I'll take a look at this. I think I'll keep the gold. Uh, let's see, clothing. Are these my like shorts? These are my shorts. Let's go for like dark. Let's be some kind of weird spider witch on sock. Short, long. Heck yeah. And what about decorations? Head decoration. Single? Double. Oh, row. I don't know. I kind of like the row. The row doesn't really work with a spider though. Let's just do stripes. Yeah, that works. We are a little dinosaur child. And brooch? Oval. Heck yeah. All right, uh, save and close. So now we've got our character, let's dive in. What is our village name? It is going to be, uh, Big Wood. What, can I not change my name? What, okay, there it is. Big Wood, perfect. Generation Seed. I wonder why it's negative. I'm sure the developers have a specific reason for that, but I don't know. They said multiplayer's in beta. God, what an absolutely lovely aesthetic, too. Like, it's just so immediately cozy. It's a calm and quiet day and you're relaxing on your bench. All of your daily tasks are done and the warm sun gently lulls you to a midday nap. You dream of an adventure, of a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the, in the frontier village, when suddenly an intense crash comes down from the field and wakes you up. Clean. It's clear there's no way to fix the shed. You begin to clean up the area. As you clean the debris and the shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. This must have been, a, this must have been the thing that crashed into and destroyed your shed. Unsure of what it is, you pick up the strange metal object and put it away for now. You should replace. You should first replace your shed. Well, first I will gather. <laughs> Just poke it at the bottom of the staff. Sure, why not? Okay. Pick up the whatever that is. Okay, rotate the camera, zoom the camera. It won't let me do the tutorial yet. Notebook, leaves, okay. First and foremost, B. Storage, shed, not unlocked. Hold up. Okay, I guess I just have to do more than I was. Tutorial completed, hooray. Okay, open the map to find the woodsman. Ooh. Shift apparently gets me the quest. Oh, that's nice actually. Map. Woodsman. Woodsman is all the way over here. Focus village, focus ping on map. Oh, wait, hold up. Place marker? There we go. Oh, do I move faster on roads? Oh, I do. That's actually really nice. I like that. Ooh. Something crashed into your shed? Well, sure, I can teach you how to fix up a new one. All right, so, saw timber. Great, give me some wooden logs from the loggers around me. I'll prepare some saw t uh, sawn timber for you to build the shed. Okay, wood has been storage, logger. Infinite resource. Okay, so if I hold it down, we'll just infinitely produce. Okay, and after a certain point, it just gets added. That's fine. Oh, uh, transfer? Transfer, I see. Oh, nope, don't do that. Do not do that. Let's see, transfer item is right click. Okay. 
And then we want to move this, transfer that. Oh wait, no, these these are still loggers. My bad. Mm -hmm. Do we deliver them in here? There we go. Mm -hmm. Perfect, here's the sawn timber you need. Now all you have to do is... Cool. Now do I have... Oh no, I can get everything back. And let's get rid of... Let's get rid of that. There we go. It keeps the roads to go faster. I like this. This is neat. I'm wondering if uh, we leave the town at some point, though. Because it seems a little constrained at the moment, but maybe that's just me. Okay, build shed. I'll just put it here. R to rotate. There we go. So I have my shed. Store some things in it. Talk to the divine researcher. Huh? You need my help with a weird thing? Oh, I love weird things. Let me see. Oh, ho, ho. what if we poke it right? The strange piece of metal you picked up from your broken shed comes alive. It wraps itself around your brooch and staff, and suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind. Dazed, you look at the ancient tablet nearby to the researcher nearby to the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings. The ancient tablet seems particularly wrecked, but you can definitely read some of the text. Something about magic, devastation, a spark, something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. Oh. You can understand it. Oh, this is incredible. Amazing news. I, uh, oh, you must look at the village monument for me. Yeah. Go with me. I'll, I'll just slow you down. Oh, go without me. I'll just slow you down. You come back and tell me what you find, you hear? You can understand the carvings of the divine rune. It seems, okay, so it's about the same thing. Uh, let's see, K? K is just, oh, for the sodden timber in the woods. So where's the monument? Up here to the left, all right? Is it this thing? This thing. The village monument looms above you quietly and with the weight of its years behind it. Uh, with the weight of its years behind it, you extend your hand to the strange metal on your brooch, or strange metal in your brooch. Oh, you extend your hand and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. Suddenly the carvings on the stone itself begin to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you're writing what you see is the writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all of the information. Something about being last accessed several million days ago. The world, or the word danger catches your eye. Clearly the monument is more than you'd all assumed. The words settle for a moment. Dangerous levels of corrupted aether detected. Cleansing pulse routine initiated. You can hear the monument rattle. Something inside is trying to happen, but nothing happens. Aetheric cleansing failed. Function keys missing. Cleansing routine recommended. Danger to life critical. A piece of stone moves aside to, re to re reveal a handful of empty key slots. You should tell the divine researcher about everything you found. Okay. Bah. I have to stop pressing shift. I'm I'm so used to pressing shift to sprint in these games. And I have to like unlearn that. I don't think I blame the devs for having it there. But I blame me for using it. You describe everything you've seen to the village uh, when the village monument was activated to the divine researcher. Strange ta text, the missing spark keys, how it tried to do a cleansing pulse but failed. The divine researcher's natural smile falls as he tries to digest everything. Hmm. We've had individuals explore north, past the woodlands, and even past the mountains. The ones that traveled furthest returned ill and talked about how the magic, the aether, itself felt strange. Some had used the word corrupt. It would explain a lot if the village monument can clean corrupted aether. It did seem odd that this place was so perfect to make a new village in. Sounds like we should turn it on and try it out. Okay, so we need to activate it. Uh -huh. I suppose we'll have to find the missing spark keys first and perhaps more. I'll see what I can dig up in my notes. The village has existed for a few decades now without any problems. I don't think the threat is so immediate that we'll all fall sick out of nowhere. Just be careful in your adventures. But for now, there are lots of ancient shrines you could translate. I know there's quite a few in the woodlands. Perhaps they would even reveal more of our mystery. You are technically not allowed to go out there. It can be quite dangerous, but I won't tell anyone. Uh -huh. So just keep going through the old mine shaft, and there should be this strange looking little building. I call them ancient shrines. It has a kooky little golden statue on top. <laughs> you have my permission, so go. Have a fun adventure. 
Maybe die. It's fine. Where's the mine shaft? Mine shaft's in the top left. Okay. What a lovely little game. I'm gonna keep saying that. I've been following this game's development for a hmm, year, year and a half, something like that. I saw one of the uh one of the like development or developers just share like a hey, this is what our game looks like, and I'm like, I love automation sims. I'm a huge sucker for this kind of game. So we have map. So we can see where we are. So ancient waypoint, mine shaft, shrine, giant tree. And we can open this up. Ancient waypoints are immediately unlocked in the demo. Requires a constant supply of fuel. Use the map to teleport to a fueled waypoint. Okay. And then we have the shrine. You start looking at the shrine, but as you look closer, it's more evident that it's not actually a shrine, but some kind of machine. You extend your hand, and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. With a touch, the machine rumbles as if as it works by itself. After a short moment, the machine stops and displays some writing. From what you can understand, the machine is actually the shrine is actually capable of making something called a stumpy spark. However, it's currently broken and asking for some items to fix itself. So it logs Aether Shard. You touch the shrine and a small hatch opens to reveal a slot to put the items inside. You leave for now. Alright, so we've got some stuff. I guess we might as well go for a tree. Oh, no. Can't harvest from one of those. Or one of those. But I can from the bush. But those are just leaves. Here's the question. Ah, uh, right. Of course, I put those items in my, um, my shed. Of logs, I'll call them Stumpy Sparks. They're the first step in making it right. We have a giant tree, but we need a logger building to harvest. I guess, what can I build first? The answer is almost nothing. That's a field spunny. It's a spider bunny? Oh, that's actually really cute. I... I don't know if Shell's much of a, uh automation sandbox kind of person, but I might have to drag her into this because I think I think she would actually enjoy some of it. Oh cool, I can climb those. This looks like this might have useful things. It did, just not what I'm looking for. I don't know how to get that aether bit is the main main thing. Oh it wants logs. Because refiners unlock it by completing quests. I guess let's do K. So we've got wooden panels and stones. Quest log. Activate the monument. Solve the mystery. Deliver that. Okay, aether shards. You can get by hunting animals. You don't know how to hunt. Maybe you find a corpse. Well, that's kind of dark. Never mind. It is dark. Why are there just corpses everywhere? <laughs> this is actually unnerving. What is with these creatures and why are they all just dying en masse in the field? Like, it feels like I've stumbled upon an elephant graveyard and the elephants are just chilling, waiting to die. And they seem wildly unperturbed by the fact that their, their, their kin are just dead at their feet everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so dark. I'm just going to grab a little bit of everything for a bit. Uh, I don't know how much I need, but I might as well be slightly overprepared. Do we... Okay, so we actually need some more of this, too. Like, not going to lie, if I walked into the woods and I was wandering around, and there was like seven to ten dead deer, and then about the same amount of living deer just kind of standing around milling about and just kind of going about their day. I would be unnerved and I'd probably be calling animal control. Like if I was this guy, I'd be running back to town and be like, all the spunnies are dying. Why? Like if it was just one, okay. If I had a hand in it, okay. But no, they're just dead there. <laughs> all right, well, one way or another, we can go get the stumpy sparks at the very least. Okay, I'm just gonna give it everything. Trying slowly worse to life. It takes the items and begins to fix itself. It seems to be running some kind of test and is checking that everything still works. Suddenly it spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine notes that the stumpy spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. The stumpy spark stares at you and it seems ready and eager to receive instructions. 
However, before anything can be done, with a puff of magic, the stumpy spark turns into a wooden disc that fits in your hand. With the spark's deactivation successful, the shrine claims that it's now fully operational and ready to be assigned sparks. The strange metal in your staff changes, and the slots that it can fit uh, and slots that can fit discs appear. You place it place it in, and the stumpy spark begins to follow you. Okay, so I can craft more. Uh, uh, you know those resources I just dumped in, unthinkingly? Oh, wait, no, there they are. I was kind of hoping they would just still be in the inventory, but alas. Oh. Boop. <laughs> Look at that animation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's incredible. He's just rolling back and forth and having a good time or something. Okay, aim mode. I can throw sparks. That's something I should probably get to. Maybe throw a spark, call a spark back. Well, first and foremost, let's snag this one. And I'm going to have to go grab some other things. Uh, let's see. Okay, aim mode. I can throw sparks at something. Wah! They're adorable. Okay, I can also call them back to uh, cancel their current order. I think I'll let it get this tree first. Okay, pick those up. Okay, throw a spark again. Call back a spark. And harvest pine saplings. I... This is unbelievably cute. I think I might get a little tired of hearing them making that noise. But I don't know how much I... I don't know. I, I might get tired of it. But it's hard to... It's hard to say. Okay, let's just transfer the resources. Have them start making the next one. Because, yeah, we might as well have this somewhat automated so that we can produce a bunch of stumpy sparks. Okay, anything else? Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of stuff underground. Underground? Uh, in the ground as well that I might be able to harvest. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Grab that. Keep moving this over. Yeah, I might as well just get a small armada of these guys so I can actually do some things. This is... I... I normally don't get hyped for games. Uh, I kind of couldn't allow myself to get hyped for games, I guess is the better way of phrasing it. Too many games coming out in too short of a period of time. And it's just there's just so much and so it's impossible to like get excited for anything because it's just information overload and also because of how my job functions I kind of would oh, I think I just told him to pick a log up you know what that's fine I want to say the developers had like a kid do all the voice acting for this but I could be wrong I I'm gonna headcanon that they probably had access to like one of the developer's children, maybe. And they were just like, you know, he, uh... Hi, child. <laughs> Hello, child. Please, here's a microphone. Make weird, weird, like, gleeful noises for us. Yeah, that that comes off as a little, little odd. Uh, let's see. Anyway. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Just put this in. Okay, so I'm going to have that just produce some sparks for us. Oh, was there a third one? Yes, they already had one for me. So now I've got three, so I can send them around, let them do some things. Let's go back out to the spider death field and see what I can grab. Let's see, we already got the ancient container. I don't know if I can destroy that, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, so it looks like the random corpses have gone, so they don't come back. So it seems like whatever killed these things, I guess maybe they just don't rot. Uh, 
I'm very glad I don't have to directly interact with children on a daily basis. I don't know what I would do. I would treat them like they're strange inanimate objects. Okay, so what else do we have around here? Because we do have more of the, uh, the spider graveyard that I might as well harvest from and grab things. Yeah, eventually I'd like to get to the point where I have more of these. Like, maybe a, a specific... Let's see. A specific setup so I can have uh, my sparks just go through these areas and just rip them up. Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna grab a little bit of everything, then we'll head back, grab some things. Yeah, solve the mystery of the ancient shrine. I thought I did. Now, will they all... Oh, they will. They will all collaboratively work on a thing to chop it down faster. I wasn't sure if there would be, like, an upper limit on its slots. Okay. Well, I think that's good enough for... At least for now. Let's... Quests. Quest log? Okay, it's a completed quest. Shrine translation. Activate the monument. Can't do that. How do I unpin? Oh, unpin from screen. Yeah, we don't we don't need that one right now. Here's a question. I wonder if I can actually get them to chop down a bigger tree. Maybe. Okay, do we want to put... Oh! Okay, so I'll have two of them. Turns out... Okay, I don't... Oh my gosh, it really is just Pikmin. Yeah, so I can just have them go absolutely ham on small saplings. I'll have to figure out how to get the ability to destroy bigger ones. But yeah, I can just let that go for a while if I want to. Uh, hmm. I guess I should probably check the map and start looking for something more useful. Just wander around. I think I put a land landmark down. Yeah, let's just let's just wander. We'll find some stuff. Because I've got a small army of sparks, so I can now do things. Forest spunny. Well, they don't look violent, so that's a good sign. Oh, and I can see what I can get out of them. Oh. Okay, so that's a little dark. Battle. Okay. Can we do anything to the spunny burrow? No. Well, at least I think we know what we can get out of them now. Yeah, so better aether, magic, whatever you want to call it. No shrine in the area yet. But maybe I just need to zoom out a bunch until I find something. Ah, here we go. Here's the thing. Ancient shrine. You extend your hand to touch the shrine and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light as the machine begins to hum to life. This machine clarifies that it's capable of making a crafty spark, but it's currently broken. Okay, so it wants some stumpy sparks and wooden panel. You touch the shrine and a small hatch opens. Okay, so we can give it stumpy sparks and panels. Complete. The machine slowly works to life. It takes the items and begins to fix itself. It seems to be running tests to make sure everything still works. This one, too, spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. 
The shrine notes that the crafty spark has been immediately activated as part of the test, waves at you, ready to re receive, uh, ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done, turns into one of these, and we get a couple of crafty sparks. Okay, so first and foremost, I should probably go pick up my other sparks and resources. Tab, put both of these. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to put these guys in. Put two of these and Looks like it requires stumpy sparks to actually make any of them. Which is a little un unfortunate for me. And I don't think my crafty sparks can do much to trees, can they? Oh, no, they can. Not as well, though. Yeah, so we're going to want to... We are going to want to scale up our production here pretty quickly. And get a lot more lumber. I'd like to make a logging machine. I thought I unpinned this quest. There it is. Much cleaner. Okay, grab a little bit of everything. Okay, so we know how to do this. Oh. Arm, actual arms that work. Why are limbs so difficult to make? At least... Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have another ancient shrine here. That I've missed. Maybe there's one that specializes better in, in gathering resources. Because, yeah, I'd like to be able to get to the point where I'm automating the Stumpy Spark creation. Uh, I'll have to go get Aether on its own. But at least not being, or not having to go get the wood would be nice. Where's this shrine? Oh, no, it's down here. There it is. What is this one? Animating Force of the Sparks, Etheric Distillation Process. Extend your hand. Okay, same deal. Oh, it makes aether shards. Shrine words to life. Takes the items and begins to work by itself. Okay. So there's a hiss of steam. Uh, so it seems to have refined the etheric pellet into etheric shards. Okay, so we can now turn in pellets and get shards. I'm just going to put these two lads in. What about crafty sparks? If they go faster, they go much faster. Okay, so this is why we want crafties. I'll probably pull them out of it anyway, just because I don't know if I need them that bad. This came back. Okay, I think we're gonna just have to pin something as soon as we get a quest, uh, so that I can actually do things. Okay. I only got three? That should be better. Uh, let's see. Go bananas. Destroy it. There we go. I'm gonna just need endless wood. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's go back to the Aetheric Conversion Shrine. I'm gonna take the Crafty Sparks out of that. We don't need it at the moment. We will, but not yet. Collect that, open that. Oops, I did it again. Okay, I'm gonna pull these guys out. We'll get to them when we get to them. I need a spark that specifically just runs around grabbing things for me. Automatically. Okay. We're going to go back and dump off the uh, storage. Ooh. I wonder if I can actually put a, a shed next to it. 
Okay, so let's swap these out. Oh, did I? Ah. There we go. Yeah, let's let's try building a thing. We don't have any refiners, but I should be able to build a shed right next to it. I put the wood in. No, it's not going to work. But at least I can give the wood over here. I don't really know if I benefit too much from that. I'll put them both there for now. Ah, oh, they do. They work really fast. Uh, it's fine. But we are going to have to wander around until I can find... Let's let's keep exploring for a bit. What I need to do is I need to figure out how to build a logger. And until I've done that, it's not super important for me to be here. I guess the other thing I might want to do is actually go back to town. Because there's probably all sorts of shrines that I can find in this area. But I wouldn't be surprised if the NPCs don't have quests for me now. Maybe that's it. Because if I come back with a small army of Stumpy, yeah, that's got to be it. Let's, uh, I'll go make a couple of crafties, though, just so I have an even mix. Because it might be one of those where I, I set up in town. Okay, let's, let's grab the Aetheric Shards. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm just going to grab the two crafties out of this and just hope for the best. Because, yeah, I've got ten stumpies on me. That should be enough, maybe. Because I know we have all these other NPCs. Aww. Nope. What about this? Infinite resources, but nothing more. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, so... Probably not, in retrospect. Or, oh, complete. You tell the divine re researcher on everything you've seen about the ancient shrine, especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it. So they're called sparks, you say. How unusual. Clearly I have some research to do. Ah, oh, they're quite cute. You should show them around. Maybe the others in the village will have some ideas on them. Did you figure out what I asked you to do? Oh, okay. So we still need to activate the village... Uh, the village Ooh. monument, but eh. What are those little guys? Sparks, you say, and you can get them to do work for you. Hmm. I... Uh, tell me more. You see his eyes twinkle as you describe the ancient shrine and how the sparks work in one. He mutters something and nods to himself. Ooh. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. That's uh, pretty ingenious. Right. Let me have a few, will you? And give me some materials. I want to make a... Try making a logger for your little sparks. Okay, so... Should be fine. So the one problem is... I don't have any logs. So I guess let's fix that. I need eight. There we go. Hmm. No rush with the thing I asked. What? What? How did? Hold up. Quest log. Wood harvesting. Pin. Oh, deliver. Of course. Put it here. Uh, let's see. Control left click. We want two. And then we want five. Mm. Of course, since they're so small, they'll need a low table and it's done. One very important thing, you'll need Aether Corbs to build the logger. You offset the Aether and the giant trees, you see. Mm. Ah, you don't really need to know what that means, but let me tell you, I've personally tried harvesting those giant trees without an Aether counterbalance, and it took two whole months to regrow my mustache. Mm. We found the Aether Corb at the beefland corpses that are around in the woods. I'm sure you can find more, but for now, I'll give you a few that I have to spare. Hey, so we got two. Okay, let's see if anybody else has anything. This lady and somebody else. Ah. Oh, you look like you are very busy beefalent today. I'm gonna teach you to have an uh teach you how to have an eye on things when you have lots of tasks to do. The mayor tells you of the tricks that she uses to take 
a look at the bigger picture and figure out what to take care of next. Quest overview. Oh, open the quest overview. Quest overview. Did it not work? Oh. Okay. So I guess she's just done. It was just tutorial tips. And then there's the storage guy. Quartermaster. Uh. Hey, so those weird dolls of yours. The woodsman was showing them off, right? They follow instructions, right? Uh. You think it can carry stuff too? Deliver Stumpy Spark. Huh? Okay. Let's do split item three, split move. <gasps> it works. Oh, they walk on paths. They pick up items from the buildings they pass. They drop them off, uh, drop off items in the buildings they pass and can use them. Huh. They also pick up items on the path if it's in their way. But they only walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Here, let me show you how to make a dirt path. Huh. Try it out. Okay, build a logger. Logger to a Stumpy sh Spark Shrine. Throw Stumpy Spark onto the path. Wooden log, Stumpy Spark. Huh. Cool. Tell me how it went. I was wondering where to progress, and the answer was, yeah, go back to town. I'll have to figure out how to get access to the big pine trees at some point, but... Build. We want to start with... Harvester, logger. Can I rotate this? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Okay, so we now have functionally infinite wood, and we can just do that. I'll put the crafters in here so we can finally automate this. I think we're perfect? Yeah, so it's still going to take them a little while to build, and I'll throw like two more of these lads just so that it's not impeded. But I think it should be fine. Okay. And it wants me to make a bunch of these. Uh, I guess what I'm gonna do though, is let's, let's find another one of these trees. We have another one like, uh, do we actually wanna do this or do I wanna set this up over the crafty spark? Mm, I'm gonna, It's tough. Because I don't think this is ever going to stack up on wood. Never mind, it will. I'll have to figure out how I want to handle that, but that's fine. Okay, so we want to do quest log, production line, pin to screen, and we just need to craft a bunch of crafty sparks. Do I just hang out? I mean, it's working. Yeah, it looks like we don't really have to worry about this needing more logging, logging shrines to connect. And the main problem is mostly just waiting for these stumpy sparks to get finished. Give him one more. Just in case there's a delay. Okay. One more and then we go finish the quest. And then see if new things pop up. I'm going to assume the townsfolk always have a quest for me. Oh. But I could be wrong. It might be one of those where we have to wait for these things to show up. She nods as you explain to her what happened when you created the production line. Her lips relax into a soft and satisfi satisfied smile. <laughs> nice. Here, take this as a gift. Sawn timber. Okay, do we have any quests in the village? Yes. It looks like they're starting to 
use the sparks in here as well. Ooh. All right, so I was thinking maybe we can get these sparks to not just harvest the wood, but actually craft with it. I'll need a lot of materials to try out some different ideas, but you and your sparks can do it. 100 wooden logs. Let's make something new together. I've been looking through my research and it seems these sparks are entirely unique. You're the first person to discover such a thing. Mm -hmm. What are you surprised that this old man can actually do some work? Divine technology is my specialty, I'll have you know. And I've been thinking, maybe we can recreate these spark machines. The divine researcher grins, his eyes full of passion. He takes out several pages full of questions that he's prepared to ask you. Okay, well, you spend what feels like forever answering a litany of questions about this dumpy spark shrine. Its dimensions, its connections, how every, how every little thing seems to work. By the end of it, the divine researcher seems satisfied. Hmm. I see, so it uses the same etheric energies as other divine technology, and it certainly fits some older hypotheses. But replicating the actual process, well, nothing to do but try. Okay, so we want five of these. And as many stumpies as I can give him. Whoops. It's done! So there's no way of building this without the ancient bases. The piping is vital, and I can't quite replicate it, but I've got I've made the pro or I've made it process agnostic. Yeah. Means you can use it to make other types of sparks. Oh. What? I know there are other shrines out there. I bet you warm dinner that I bet you a warm dinner that there's more sparks too. Oh, I always thought these statues were minor deities, but to think they were creatures. Ho ho ho. A researcher squints over his glasses. Mm -hmm. You weren't planning on just trying it out and not telling me the results, right? Spark workbench, stumpy sparks. Good, I'll even give you something for it. Don't make me wait too long. Okay, do we have anything else in town? The answer is no. What an absolutely lovely little game. Like, once again, the aesthetic is great. I love the fact that we are a, a specific character the world seems at least somewhat hands designed. I mean, it is definitely giant field with not much going on. Um, but I'm cool with that. Okay, and we've got a fair bit of stumpies. Collect our lumber from this. Quest overview. I guess the one thing I want to check. We also have barrels. Store your, uh, you or your sparks to store items in. Ah. I think I'm just gonna set up elsewhere. I'm gonna have that one just cap out eventually. So assemblers, logger. Put it here. Just for convenience sake. Okay. Put two of them on that. Go back to this. Okay, so I believe what they're going to do is grab the log and put them in here. I'm going to just have six on this. And the entire goal is mostly to just stack up tons and tons of wood. So we don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's see, how's this doing? Doing great. Okay, so I need I need 100 wooden logs. I have 31. So I think I'm just going to let these stack up. This is going to take a long time to fill. And by long time to fill, I mean like maybe a couple minutes. Ah. I really have to get over pressing shift. Yeah, let's, let's wander around for a bit. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let's go do the other quest, of course. Because we wanted to build a assembler. Spark workbench. Building craft sparks out of wood. Let's just use this one. I don't know if we can actually... Let's see. Back? There. Okay, stumpy sparks. Yeah, so it's not... I actually don't think it's any different from the shrine in retrospect. 
Ingredients, Stumpy Sparks. So I think we can find other recipes. As well. But yeah, if we go back to the quest log, we can do woodcraft, activate it. Oh. Yeah, here we go. So, I guess we don't actually need this after all. I'm gonna just take him back. It's nice. Uh, I'll have to see if I can actually, like, demolish something. Edit tool. Ah. Deconstruct. Perfect. Okay, is that enough logs? Gosh, I hope so. Let me check. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's that's more than enough. Let's go turn these back in. Might as well grab as many stumpies as we can. But yeah, having it be... Admittedly, maybe it's a little bit too drip-fed for me. I almost kind of wish they would give me like a bunch of quests after a certain point. But maybe that's exactly what happens. After a certain point, they chill and give considerably more, like, long-term quests instead. What? Oh, one of those was only at 12. Perfect timing. Let me show you my final design. So, much of the machine is inside the building. It simplifies the work so those sparks of yours don't have to do anything complex. Ah, no offense, but they're not very smart. When I try to give a complex order to one, they just get very confused. Haha. <laughs> of course, there's always room for more improvement, but try it out. Saw bench. Saw on timber. You describe your experience with the spark workbench to the researcher as he furiously scribbles in his notes. For each thing you tell him, it feels like he's writing five different thoughts. After you finish, the old man furrows his eyebrows deep in thought and sighs gently. <laughs> if only I was a decade or two younger. Ah, but I'm very glad to be uh, to even be alive to help you on your adventures and discoveries. Here, take this. You'll find a use for them, I'm sure. Uh huh. Okay, so I think he just wants me to work on the monument, which we got to go find the keys. What she got for me? Oh. Look, I know what everyone's excited. Uh, or I know everyone's excited for these spark things, but I don't like you going out there so much. There's a reason we don't let everyone walk into the woods, you know. Yeah. I've agreed that I would give them a chance, but I won't let it go without a fight. If those little creatures of yours can't do this, they're not worth the risk. Deliver stumpy sparks, deliver sodden oh. timber. Please take care of yourself out there. Granny needs a new shack. Okay, do we have any other quests? No. These two Mason sisters. That doesn't look like I can do anything with that yet. Okay. It looks like when they're full up, they will just start walking in circles, which is probably fine. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Build. Harvesters, assemblers, refiners, saw bench. Okay, so it looks like they deliver whatever. Okay. Edit. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move all of these down. The reason being is this way they will collect the extra wood, but first they're going to deliver it to the saw mill. There we go. Okay. We'll just do three. I don't know how fast these things work. Kind of slow. I think we need to go get some more crafty boys. So in that case, let's let's get another refiner. Because my entire goal at the moment isn't really to make anything particularly primo, is just to make something good enough. So we can stack up tons and tons of resources as we wait. Uh, I'll put two more of them in there. Go to this. These controls will do- oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I could have 30 of these boyos following me around. Fear me. Alright, uh, did I- yeah, I looted this one. I kind of would like to be able to destroy those at some point, maybe. Ah, they're out of etheric shards. 
That's why they've stopped. I'll have to work on that at some point. But we've got to find a more consistent use for them. Or, not use, a uh, more consistent source of them. This boyo had red eyes. Die. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, do we want to just put two on this? Yeah. I'll leave that just going for now. The entire goal is to just have some when we come back. Okay. So we need wooden panels. Oh, I don't know how to make those, do I? Okay. So this will only make me two more crafties. Can I get anything from the stone? No, I cannot. So I think we're kind of locked until we can deliver 40 Stumpy Sparks. And then X amount of Crafty Sparks. Uh, so I, I guess I'll just grab these two. Oh, you know what it can do? Seeing as we're probably just gonna be waiting? At least for a little while. Ooh. I'm gonna go until this empties out. We might just wander around for a bit and see if we can find some more of those panels. Pull them back. Because there might be another one of those storage things around. And what is this? Beeflint corpse. Okay, cool. I can get stuff out of it. Well, that's good stuff. They are so bloodthirsty. They just see... They just see a spider and they... They just no mercy it straight straight away. Well Get him boyos. There we go. What else do we have around here? We have some water and like cattail things, but I don't think I can do anything with that. This is gonna give me some more loggers though, which we do kind of need and want. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna fill this map. See if there's anything else of any immediate merit. What I want, I think more than anything in this game, is a spark I can ride. Just a big old wheel. Like a wheel buddy that hums as it drives me around. And then eventually there's an upgrade that's like the car. Oh, they're out for blood today. At least they get their resources. I might as well grab a fair bit of that, because I'm going to need it if I want to make some progress here. Okay, let's let's clean this place up. I don't know if these resources respawn. But I might as well snag what I can. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put those in, take these out. We want to put our crafty sparks in. Wait, does that make a difference? Oh yeah, it absolutely does. Shame they didn't grab everything. I guess it's easier if I just tell them to do whatever. <laughs> like, hey, go grab this, rather than having me go grab it myself. Because, yeah, I can just have the endless parade of sparks to grab every resource I don't feel like picking up. Okay, is there anything else? Yeah, they go... They grab the resources some of the time. I 
There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oh, that's that's a ton. We also have this one, but I don't think I can actually go for the higher tier stuff. Do I want to wait for just a little bit? Let them grab everything else? Maybe. Yeah, because I can just hang here just delegating tasks while we wait for certain resources to fly in. There we go. And I'll just pick that up. Because I kind of want to grab the two crafties out and move them over into my sawmill setup, which we might actually have a bunch of those. So I should probably... Let's see, I should probably get back and move some resources around because I'm pretty sure we're full. Maybe. Okay, let's go to this one. Let's grab both of these. Put the crafties in, make them go faster. How are we doing? Oh yeah, this is, that's a lot. That's not actually. That's fine. I think I've got plenty. I'll just leave as is. Though what I should probably do is actually move some things. These, these should be after. Because the entire point is we want them to be going into the sawmills first. Rather than anything else. So, the one problem is I have 31 of these guys. So I'm going to have to kill time until we make like 10 more. I mean, I guess I don't exactly have to kill time. I just have to do some things. Here's a question. Can I logistics this? No, I cannot. Yeah, the one problem is we have a giant tree here for a logging station, but it is very poorly placed. I think it's time that we get rid of this forest as much as we can. Okay, so while they're going, harvester, rotate this, perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna build longish dirt path to here. You guys really don't clean up after yourselves, do you? I guess I'll just snag some of these myself. Okay, so I wanted to build an assembler. Snag that. Okay. I'm going to try this. I don't know how practical this is, but I'm going to try and have the outputs go to a barrel. Okay, and put that in. Well, let's kickstart it with a bunch. So that should give us, yes, okay, it does work. So we can actually uh, infinitely, or infinite craft this stuff. Uh, or at least stack it up and put it in into an endless amount of barrels, which is going to be very helpful. It's still kind of slow, which is maybe an issue and maybe I'll pull some crafties out of this. But I think for the most part, what I need to do is just actually come by to gather regularly. Okay, so I'm sitting at a solid 30. Once again, I didn't really progr uh, progress with that, but I didn't really like... Uh, it's not that bad. 
And do we have, oh yeah, we've got plenty of slime timber. I'm gonna let that go. Hopefully we get the ability to make the um, boards as well. Let's sort the inventory. Yes, I can, okay. Yeah, so I just gotta get seven more. And then we can go back, turn in this quest, and I think we'll call it here. So it's a little slow. If you're expecting to get to like mega factory levels really quickly in this game, I don't think you're gonna really find that experience. However, as a like really, really solid and charming little automation sim, this has got my attention in a very good way. The aesthetic is great, the music is great. I like the theming, Woodpunk is rare and kind of fun. And I want more automation sandbox games that are more about magic than machines. I mean, obviously, it's still got plenty of machines, but uh, I don't know. Uh, having grown up in the U.S. and just seeing effectively constant urban decay and like industrial complexes that did not survive the years, it's a little depressing. Uh, there we go. The mayor takes inventory of the items she's asked for with disbelief. Yeah. This, this is what we normally make in a month. I, okay. I clearly can't stop you, but promise me you'll take care of yourself. Yeah. I'm proud of you, no matter what you do. Always have been. Advancements, merchant. Oh, so do we, yes, we have the merchant. We actually have some more quests to do, if I wanted to. Apparently the demo is about, uh, three hours long, so mm. I could keep going for a while. Oh, I love this guy's style. I have a question. Are those sparks of yours good at defending themselves, or say a trade caravan? We often just we avoid disturbing wild animals, but sometimes they attack. And of course, there's also bandits. Mm. Maybe they can help, but ugh, you should start with something weak. Hunt some field spunnies for me. You can find them in the woodlands. Mm. Don't confuse them with forest spunnies, all right? If you attack one of those, a whole nest will come after you. Yeah, all of them have quests for me. Um, but. This plus the multiplayer plus kind of the simplicity and the cuteness of this, I would actually say this is probably the best beginner automation sandbox game I've ever seen. And very much will be pointing to it in the future of like, hey, this game's great. Check it out. Oh, didn't I tell you there are other sparks? I'm so smart. I think you technically owe me a warm dinner, but I'll let you off for now. <laughs> ah, enough gloating for this old man. It's time to do some work. I was looking at the village monument, and there was always this part that looked like an, looked like the ancient waypoints. I thought maybe we can activate yeah. it. So I was snooping around and noticed something very exciting. There was this broken cube-looking thing that I could take out. I think if, I think we can fix it with some etheric items. Uh -huh. We make a good team, you and I. Okay, yeah, lots of things to do. A lot of it is progression through questing, which can be a little bit slow at gaining resources and recipes and all sorts of things. Oh, but we've already hit kind of the next tech tier where it's just like, hey, you have access to all these things. Sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hello there. So you know how your sparks can turn wooden logs into sawn saw timber. Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe we can get them to make something even more refined. Do you want to give me a hand? Logger, saw bench, saw timber. Great, let's try expanding it a little bit and see how the logger and saw bench work in scale. Well, I can give him some amount of this. I'll have to go pick up some more, but that's fine. And does Barrel Lady have anything? No. And we don't have the stonemasons yet. Well, I want to keep playing this game, but I also would love to wait until the game is uh, further along. I love playing these games early for demos and whatnot, but is a little is a little killer, at least on my end, uh, because then I play like three hours of it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the best ever. And then the game comes out and I'm like, I've played this already. I no longer have any will to play this anymore. And that that sucks for me. Uh, not too much, but it's it's a thing. Anyway, I guess I might as well mention uh, that if you guys want to play this yourselves, I don't think it's quite available yet. Let me double check that, but first I gotta re-equip these. Uh, let's see. Odd Sparks Automation Adventure. No, demo is out now, so it's actually available for everybody if you want to play it yourselves. And I don't know how long the demo is going to be lasting for. Um, yeah, demo the mountains. Oh, yeah, so... It looks like you can get a little bit into the second biome, too. And there's all sorts of things to do. Oh, yeah, we haven't even looked at the quest overview again. There's all sorts of stuff. Map, quest overview. Yeah, so we're in tier two, which has gotten me access to these. And then there's tier three, four, and then who knows how much more. I really like this. I really like this a lot. Uh, I'm curious to see 
I guess, where they go with it, but then also just, uh, I don't know. I think it's incredibly endearing, and I just love this kind of game. So, I guess, yeah, once again, play the demo, it's on Steam, and I will have a link in the description, description, description below, so if you can, uh, just follow the link and play it yourselves. But, with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. Uh, but I guess with that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.